Hey guys, Saki here from Saki Tech and as you can see we have a Google Pixel 3 in stock. Now this one is not the Google Pixel 3 XL so this is not, this is not going to have a notch and this is the one that has a 5.5 inch display. So let me open up the box and see what's inside. Now in this video we are going to open the box, see what's in the box, then we're going to power on the Pixel 3 and set it up for the first time and also I'm going to show you some of the software features uh, of the actual product so you get a first uh, hand uh, experience of what it is like to own this product so let's open up the box so here is the box easy to open uh, I got a white version here this is a pixel 3 let's lift this up put it to the side for a minute and uh, just look at what's in the box so let's uh, take this off just one cover uh, over here we have the user guide and we also have the sim uh, ejection tool here uh, over here we have the pixel earbuds so if you lift this up this is a separate box I can put it over here and open it these are the pixel earbuds and as you can see uh, they do not have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack they actually have a USB type C port that's going to connect to your phone's USB type C port over here uh, because the pixel does not come with a 3.5 millimeter port anymore okay now if you do have other kinds of earphones that require you to have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack uh, port you do have an adapter here so we have a USB type C adapter that plugs to the USB type C port and then we have the headphone jack over here the port uh, so you can uh, plug in your regular earphones or headphones if you so desire and of course we've got the charger brick over here okay let's pull this out we've got the charger brick right over here we've got the uh, USB type C cable to charge the phone so you get everything you need in the box to get you rolling alright you got the pixel you got the earbuds you got the chargers you got the necessary adapters and uh, you've got a nice set over here now let's move on to the actual phone uh, do a quick tour around it and also uh, turn it on for the first time all right, so here's the phone, and let me just give you a quick tour. Now, you do know that the Pixel has front-firing dual stereo speakers. So one speaker is right over here, okay, and the other speaker is right over here, and they're front-firing, so unlike other phones, they're not at the bottom over here. So that just gives you a little bit of a better experience while listening to videos, music, on the actual phone using the speakers. Uh, at the bottom, you have the USB Type-C port. You've got the SIM uh, area over here. If you want to inject your SIM card, you can do it right over here. And then over here, we have the power button, which is a green button. I have been liking this setup on the Pixels for a while now. And you have the volume rocker, volume down, volume up. Uh, on the other side over here, you got nothing. It's nice and clear. On the back, you've got the 12.2 uh, camera and the LED flashlight. And over here, you have the fingerprint sensor for the Pixel. Uh, on the top, uh, you have nothing going on and again nothing on the side uh, the USB port and of course the buttons okay so it's a nice minimalist design overall and I do like the back design of the pixel I like this two-tone design over here where the camera is compartmentalized on the top and you have the fingerprint sensor at the bottom here with a nice little logo at the, at the bottom okay so it's a nice looking phone uh, from the back uh, from the front it doesn't look as good as some of the flagships but this one I think is the better one among the two uh, uh, between the Pixel 3 XL and the Pixel 3 uh, because it does not have a notch so it's more tolerable than having to deal with that large notch on the Pixel 3 XL uh, anyway I have powered on the phone this is what the screen you're gonna see for the first time so let's set this up and see what we're gonna find inside all right, so this is exactly what you're going to see when you first power on the device. So what, let's, uh, let's set this up. Let's click on start and uh, it says connect to a mobile network. I'm going to skip that for a minute and then it's going to ask me to connect to a Wi-Fi, which I'm going to do right away. All right, so let's click connect and uh, it's a quick connection. It's checking for updates. Uh, obviously, we're not going to have too many updates because we just got the phone in the stock. All right, so we're good to go. Now, it's asking me if I want to copy apps and data. I'm not going to do any of that, but that's an option you do have, okay? Uh, if you have a Google account with their, uh, a previous phone backed up to it, you can transfer all the information. So I'm not going to do a, I'm, a, I'm going to set a brand new device, so don't copy. Okay, so it's saying just a second, check in information. All right, so it wants me to sign in with my Google account, which is absolutely necessary to use these phones. So let me do that right now. 
All right, so that's been done. Again, just a second, it's continuing. Uh, it's asking me to use location services. I'm gonna just enable everything and click accept. Uh, click accept to everything. And then of course you have the option to set up the Google Pixel imprint, which is the fingerprint sensor. Uh, you would do this now if you want to. I'm just gonna skip it. So let's skip that right away. And let's just pick up a, a, a screen lock. Actually, I'm gonna skip this as well. I'm gonna set these things later. So skip this as well, uh, skip anyway. And then continue setup. Yes, I'm gonna continue. Uh, tap on continue and it wants me to set up my Google voice match. So when I say, okay, Google, it's gonna actually launch the Google Assistant and give me some information. So let's do that right now. Click I agree. And looks like I'm already set and ready to go. So let's just click continue on that one. Uh, also, you have the squeeze functionality on your Pixel. So if you squeeze the size of the phone, you can do a bunch of things. I'm going to show you guys those settings in a second. So for now, let me just uh, do it later. I'm gonna go to the settings and show you. Uh, you do have the always on display that you can set up over here. So let's just turn this on, we'll see what it looks like. And then you have these other options here. Uh, this is just part of the initial setup process. It's nice, clean, and efficient. So let's just do a no thanks for now. And uh, it'll probably take us to the actual home screen. So one last tip, you can enable or disable these updates. I'm just gonna click all set for now, and boom, we're adding the finishing touches and we are in fact in the home screen. So quickly what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the settings. Okay, so to go to the settings, you tap on this button, go all the way down, go to the system, and then tap on the about uh, phone. And if you scroll down, you'll see, and as you can see, we're running Android version 9.0, and we also get some uh, extra information if you tap on it. So that's great, we're run running the latest and greatest from Android. Okay, so let's go back to the home screen. Now let's just launch a couple apps. So let me launch this, tap on the home button, launch this, tap on the home button, launch this, tap on the home button, and launch this and tap on the home button. Now, as you know, uh, with Google Android Pie, you can swipe up and bring the multitasking pane this way, okay? If you tap this, it takes you back home. If you swipe up, it uh, gives you the multitasking pane from where you can switch uh, between apps. And of course, if you swipe it all the way, it gives you the apps and everything. And uh, if you swipe it down again, it goes away. Let me check one more thing. If you swipe from here, it does not bring down the uh, notifications panel. So you do have to pull from the top here. Get your quick toggles over here that you can expand. If you do have any notifications, it's gonna be right here. And it's quick, snappy, and, and uh, good looking device so far from a software perspective. Now it is brand new, so of course it's gonna be running very quickly, but we know from history that Pixel phones do tend to remain fast and snappy over time because there's no bloatware, okay? So this is just pure Android. It's the stock Android running at full speed made by the company that makes the actual operating system. So let's uh, go in a little bit and look at the actual settings. So these are the notifications. We can always expand these. This is just business as usual, nothing new here. Uh, but I do wanna go to the settings, tap on the settings, and just like take a look around, okay? So let's go to display. Uh, we have the brightness indicator. We've got the night light option. We've got the adaptive brightness. We have the wallpapers. Now, one thing I love with the wallpapers is the living universe uh, wallpapers. It just gives you these nice uh, wallpapers that seem to be alive. So let's take a look at this one right over here, okay? So let's just tap on set wallpaper, go back home. And as you can see, it's a gorgeous little wallpaper. But anyway, let me go back into the settings, continue uh, just browsing through the settings so you guys can get a full sensation. So you can tap on advanced, uh, you have the auto rotate, you've got the colors, now you can change the colors from natural, uh, boost it to adaptive, which is what I prefer to have, but it's again, it's up to you. Uh, you have the font size, you can change the font size if you want to, you can pick different fonts, you can make it larger, smaller, blah, 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 all that good stuff. Uh, and of course, you've got the ambient display and you've got the device theme. So the device theme is based on the wallpaper here. So I can go for a light theme, which is white background, or I can do a dark theme, uh, which is gonna be a darker background. Now, it did not change for some reason because it is actually uh, probably running off of this one, uh, the wallpaper in the background. Oh, actually it did change. So we have the uh, dark background over here. Uh, if I go to the settings, it looks like it stays white. But this one over here, you get the dark uh, notifications panel, uh, which is the way I like it. But I'm just gonna go back there for now and just keep it back into the um, uh, the automatic theme over here. And then with the ambient display, 
you can uh, keep this uh, turn on and again if I turn off the device that's the ambient display the always on display that you'll see at all times okay so let's go back inside here if I double tap it okay we're back in that settings so go over here uh, let's go back and let's look at the uh, Google squeezing functionality all right, so let me go back into the settings. I'm going to show you the squeeze functionality, like I said. So what you want to do is if you want to enable the squeeze functionality on your Pixel, uh, meaning you squeeze from the both sides over here when you hold the phone like this, you go to System and you go to Gestures. And that thing is called the Active Edge. So make sure Active Edge is, in fact, enabled. And you can also set the sensitivity by using this dial over here. So you can enable the option where you can squeeze for your assistant and you can allow this to work even when the screen is off and also you can squeeze it for silence so when you have an alarm a timer or, or a notification or an incoming call you just squeeze the phone and that's going to actually silence that notification okay so I like to keep all these three enabled they're also available on the pixel 2 now if I go back over here uh, you have these other gesture shortcuts so you can swipe fingerprint for notifications to bring down the panel Okay, so let's enable this. I'm going to show you these things in a minute and uh, actually do it, I mean. Uh, then you have the jump to camera by double tapping the power button, which is very useful to take quick shots on the go. Uh, you can do a flip the camera. If you just rotate the phone, if you just give it a shake, it's going to uh, switch from the rear camera to the front camera. And then you have the uh, prevent ringing option, okay? All right, so instead of actually uh, calling out to the Google Assistant, I can just squeeze the phone and it's going to bring up the actual assistant. So let me just click next over here. Uh, okay. And continue to assistant. That's just uh, allowing me to set it up. Okay, so here's my assistant. Okay, so let's just click OK to everything. So every time I squeeze the phone, hey Google, how are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. What can I help you with? Okay, so let's increase the volume a little bit. That's a nice little volume gesture on the side. Hey, hey Google, how are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. What can I help you with? All right, so nothing right now, but then you also have the fingerprint gesture thing that I talked about. So if I swipe it down, it's going to bring the notifications panel. Very quick and nice way to access your notifications. So that's one of the gestures. And of course, you also have the gesture where you can squeeze the phone to disable any alarms and rings. Again, you just squeeze it just like that, okay? Make sure you go to the settings and pick the right squeeze sensitivity for that kind of stuff. And then finally, if you uh, double, double press the power button really quickly, oops, boom, boom, it's going to bring up the camera really quick that you can use immediately, all right? All right, so that's the camera. That's a nice shortcut to use the camera on the go. All right, so that is the Google Pixel 3, a quick software overview. If you do have any questions, comments, or concerns about this smartphone, just drop your comments down below, and I'll try to answer them. Uh, but I mean, basically, I just want to give you a quick overview of the, of the way the phone operates if you're in the market to try to buy one. Uh, this is a good phone, okay? So this does not have a notch. It does have thick bezels on the top and bottom, but it's a small form factor, easily manageable with one hand. But otherwise, the software is really nice. I have no problem with this. It's very smooth, uh, very, very silky, and it's also minimalist, something I do like. Uh, it does lack a lot of software features that you can find on other smartphones such as a Samsung Galaxy Note 9 uh, but that's something based on preference you can always download apps and customize your phone the way you want it okay but if you're looking for a pure Android experience if you want quick updates on your Android as soon as they're available and if you're looking for a minimalist phone that runs like a champion with a great camera this is the phone to consider all right uh, like I said, drop comments, questions, concerns down below. Subscribe to Saki Tech and have a fantastic day.